that's when the sea ice lasts. This is even more difficult to understand. But scientists latest research. A possible explanation was found. That's the atmospheric river. Research shows. Atmospheric rivers carry warm, moist air. Transported from the coast of South America to the polar regions. During this process. Atmospheric cores pass through a series of effects. Release the heat in the air. Cause local greenhouse effect. And have an impact on cyclone dynamics. Ultimately lead to the melting of sea ice. Thereby. A huge thermal movement that seems mysterious and abnormal is formed. And as global warming intensifies. Atmospheric river and cyclone activity. May become more frequent. This means. We may see more gatherings in the future. And melting sea ice. Abandoned hut number 5. From the late 19th century to the early 20th century. People's exploration of Antarctica. It has been in full swing. Especially for expeditions to the South Pole. It also attracted many explorers. The most famous of them is the British explorer Robert. Falkenscott and Ernest. Shackleton and more. These two explorers who pioneered Antarctica. Not only left his name in history. And he still stayed. Simplified music score from when they were stationed in Antarctica. Cabin. First let's take a look at Scott's cabin. It is located on the north side of Evans Point. The cottage was prefabricated in England. And then transported here with the expedition. It is 15 meters long. The 7.6 meter wide wall is a hollow double layer structure. The middle is filled with seaweed sewn into the quilt. Thereby increasing the warmth function of the house. This humble abode seems frozen in time. When you walk in. I felt like I was immediately transported to a distant era. The surroundings are perfectly preserved by the freezing cold. Adventurous crafts. Among these ruins. You can also find traces of scientific research. Meteorological measurement equipment biological samples. Even the precious bullet casings of ground penguins. And Sir Shackleton's cabin. It is located about 32 kilometers from Cape Hut. It took three weeks to build the house. It is said that Scott has a team member, was a former member of Shackleton's expedition. He once came to Shackleton's cabin to reminisce about the past. In his description, everything is the same here. Bread remains on the table. Warm clothes are still hanging on the weathered clothesline. The team member retrieved a jar of butter from there. Jar of jam. A plum pudding and biscuits. All of which are said to be still very fresh. These modest huts. Every corner is real history. A place where the spirit of adventure echoes in the walls. Thanks to the development of modern technology, now with seamless photo stitching, people can go on virtual adventures. Go through these huts. Immerse yourself in the atmosphere of those days. As if standing on these ancient. Beside the brave explorer. The fourth sea spider. When sea spiders appear. Dating back to 450 million years ago. Even dinosaurs hadn't appeared at that time. From appearance to now. Experienced several major changes on Earth. In order to better obtain oxygen from the sea. The legs are getting longer and longer. Then slowly. Even the digestive and reproductive systems have grown into the legs. Gradually abandoning the body. Although sea spiders are widely distributed in many sea areas. But it is most widely distributed in the Antarctic waters. This is because the lower the water temperature, the higher the dissolved oxygen content. Antarctic region. Obviously it helps them get more oxygen. And sea spiders in Antarctica. Very huge. Known as giant sea spider. Leg length span can reach 70 centimeters. Because only by evolving to a larger size. To get more oxygen in a cold environment, they even take advantage of the movement of sea water walking around the bottom of the sea with my long legs, thereby reducing your body's consumption of oxygen. These friends eat everything. But the main thing is that I can't move after eating it. Such as starfish or coral. He even picks up trash from the sea floor and eats it. However, in the context of global warming, scientists are starting to worry. Will these giant sea spiders become extinct as a result? In order to find the answer, they artificially adjusted the water temperature and reduced oxygen levels.
Observe the changes in sea spiders, however the surprising thing is, these sea spiders, demonstrated strong environmental adaptability. He truly deserves to be the MVP of the 450 million year survival contest. Third oldest marine BNA. Whether it's in the air, indoor dust, in the soil, or in deep sea sediments. DNA is not only present in living organisms, and exist freely in the environment. Whenever an organism releases skin flakes, feces urine or saliva, or when living things die and decompose, traces of cellular remnants and their genetic material, will enter the environment. By analyzing this environmental DNA, one can infer what creatures live, or have lived in such an environment. And according to the latest issue of Nature Communications in 2022, scientists in deep sea sediments of Scott Sea, oldest marine DNA discovered, and these substances, eukaryotes dating back 1 million years. The DNA discovered by scientists this time is called sedimentary bone DNA. It exists in many environments. The reason why the DNA discovered this time can remain intact, mainly due to the polar marine environment related low temperature, low oxygen and lack of ultraviolet rays. Radiation conditions in this DNA detection analysis. Scientists have identified world's oldest diatom genome. Its DNA is 540,000 years old. In one of the samples, the research team even detected eukaryotic DNA appears to be 2.5 million years old. Eukaryotic DNA appears to be 2.5 million years old. But the researchers are quite cautious about the results, because even under ideal conditions, estimated duration of DNA, no more than about 1 million years, but overall, testing of DNA from sediments as old as 1 million years old shows, how long the genomes of marine organisms contained on the seafloor have been preserved, longer than previously thought. This not only enhances, what we know about ancient ecosystems, also provided us with, new ways to explain and predict climate change impacts. Such a discovery is not only a major breakthrough in the scientific community, it also has far-reaching significance for all of us human beings. Second place Erebus Ice Snake, Mount Erebus on Ross Island, Antarctica. It is the second tallest volcano in Antarctica, altitude 3,795 meters, accompanied by ice and snow all year round. It is also a known area on Earth the southernmost active volcano. This volcano has been active since 1.3 million years ago, and at the end of the past 30 years, has maintained continuous activity, therefore it attracts much attention. However, in addition to the internal activities of volcanoes, aerial photo from the base of Mount Erebus, we can see that, among the white snowflakes, there is a huge trajectory, broken this peaceful scene, this mysterious track is 2 kilometers wide, 11 kilometers long. It looks like an object has been dragged for more than 10 kilometers. And this object is probably dead. If it is a living thing, then in the drag line, irregular movements will inevitably occur during the process. But looking at this trajectory, neat and a little scary. Someone was there at this time. Mentioned the scene in 1979. An accident that killed 237 people. A New Zealand Airways plane was, was here, crash into Mount Erebus at great speed, eventually all passengers and crew died. According to the investigation, the scene after the impact, there is also a trace about 600 meters long. Although the location where this trace appears is on the mountainside, and it's far shorter than the length of that mysterious trick, but they are all scratches after all, all of a sudden. There are overwhelming theories about ghosts and gods. In the end, it was the scientist who came out to clear up the relationship. This phenomenon is called the Erebus Ice Tongue. It is a magical natural phenomenon of glaciers, formed by the interaction of glaciers and tides. In other words, that is when the water flow is very fast. When flowing through oceans or lakes, ice snakes will appear randomly. According to statistics, ice snakes like this, there are at least 19 in Antarctica, except Antarctica. The same exists in the Arctic. The oldest pyramid. Every time we talk about pyramids, most people automatically think of Egypt. That land where the sun shines. That land where the sun shines. But if I tell you, 
In Antarctica, which now appears to be uninhabited, maybe there are pyramids too. 2016 A satellite image from Google attracted widespread attention. From this picture you can see, Ellsworth Mountains in Antarctica, under the white snow. One actually appeared, mysterious structure that resembles a pyramid. If he really is a pyramid, then it is much bigger than the Pyramid of Khufu. The height of the Pyramid of Khufu is only 146.59 meters. After years of weathering, now it's only 136.5 meters. Side length is about 216 meters. And this one discovered in Antarctica. According to data from Google Earth, 2 kilometers long on a side. And it's 1,265 meters high. It is almost 10 times larger than the Pyramid of Khufu. Such a majestic structure. If it is naturally formed, then why are its edges and corners? It will be so neat and orderly. Is this really a miraculous work of nature? In response to this discovery, some scientists have proposed, Antarctica, conjecture that ancient human civilization may once have existed. In that distant past, Antarctica is still near the equator, belongs to tropical climate, has large tropical rainforests, countless prehistoric animals once shuttled freely among them, found in the Ellsworth Mountains. That one. Cambrian trilobites from about 50 billion years ago. This can be proven. For such a warm and suitable Antarctic continent. In fact, it is entirely possible to give birth to ancient human civilization. So, if this huge pyramid in Antarctica, if it is really a man-made structure, then it is probably the oldest pyramid on Earth. Okay, that's all the content of this video. Have no idea. These 10 amazing discoveries in Antarctica introduced today. Which one impressed you the most? Welcome to tell us in the comment area. If you like this video, welcome to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.